Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm bringing uh, another Become an Expert on my series and it's about concealers. I'm going to show you just the basics about concealer, what it's for, the colors and whatnot. So first, one of the most common that you can find at any drugstore is the liquid concealer uh, like this. These are like very light I don't know. I just use them to highlight these areas, the brow bone, you know, highlighting with coverage. So that's all I use them for because to me they don't just, they just don't neutralize imperfections unless it's a very fair complexion, but neutralizing is not like white stuff. No, that doesn't neutralize it. It only enhances or makes the imperfection more noticeable. So, colors they are my favorite um, because they're very lightweight and the, for me the color medium it, it really conceals my my uh, dark circles. I don't have a bluish tone so the yellowish medium works very good for me. Um, Okay, so these are liquids. They have a sponge tip applicator that you can go just directly on your skin and then blend with your finger or with a non-latex sponge. That's more effective in my opinion. That's what works best for me. And it's good, you know, for spots or for under eye circles. This is very good. Um, for larger areas, we have the cream concealers. I have this wheel by Ben Nye. It comes with a, this is a concealer wheel, no, coverall wheel in SK1. It's also very good for tattoo covering. It's a quite a thick consistency in on the drier side. Well, it's not dry, it's just thicker. It's uh, very moisturizing um, and it comes in several combinations for lighter to dark tones. And this one comes with the skin color around an NC35. This is uh, an, a, a darker one, you know, you can use for contouring or just for a darker complexion under eye or whatever that matches this skin tone or it's a little bit um, darker. So this is a salmon concealer which is very helpful on, you know, the, the color wheel, you can see that th there's a, there's a a neutralizing um, effect to to the salmon concealer because it's right across the blue and the uh, and the color wheel. That means that it's going to neutralize the blue. What's going to neutralize the blue? The one that is right across. That is orange. So if it's orange, orange based, peach for lighter skin, or salmon for more olive or you know, darker complexions. That's the that's the, the that's the way to go on first neutralizing, and then applying the foundation. And then, um, yeah, skin tone salmon. Oh, and then the yellow, the yellow. I use it a lot for brown spots, for melasma, stuff like that. But it's not very it's very stubborn to cover. Let me tell you, if you've seen uh, any of my videos with no makeup, that's what I'm talking about. So, many people, I want to talk about this, is, uh, many people decide to um, apply first the concealer and then the foundation. I, I rather to do it the other way around because when you see yourself in the mirror, you want to cover your spots, your imperfections, right? So, that's what makeup is for. But, many times, um, we see the, the imperfections and we want to cover everything. You know, if you have your concealer and your brush, you're like attacking all the places that, that you have imperfections. So, if you apply the foundation first, you're going to cover a good amount of all the imperfections that you have. It all depends on the coverage that you want on your foundation, but there's people who just go with only the concealer and powder, and that's, you know, if it works for you, good to go. But, uh, if you're going to use both, Make sure that you're going to neutralize the, the, the areas that you know the foundation won't just 
won't cover and that way you you're not you're not gonna you're gonna be less likely to end up with a lot of a makeup and okay so that's for Benai Cinema Secrets has a, a great concealer and it's very creamy very cover I mean the coverage is superb it's very creamy it's the best it's like uh, it's like a lip eraser for when you're gonna use a a nude uh, lipstick this is the best because it's so lightweight so covering so creamy moisturizing and at the same time it's really long lasting so it's a very good concealer I don't like it on my on my under eye because I feel it creases a little bit than the Ben Nye a little bit more than the Ben Nye but for nude lips it's uh, for my Kim Kardashian look, I used this on my lips before the, the, the lipstick. They are really neutralized. Very good my, my, my lip pigmentation without looking like super, super um, cakey or heavy. You don't feel that you're not wearing anything. So I really recommend this. And what saved my life when I, while I, I was suffering from melasma was this duo here with this yellow. This one I didn't use much because it's very light but this on my spots on the areas that I didn't crease a lot you know where there's creases I don't know creams like this on me they crease but um, yeah this yellow is very good this one, it's not too light it was very neutralizing for brown spots and it tended to be a little bit thick but I I can thin it out with cream or moisturizing lotion or with eye cream too and it gets a very good it's a physician's formula concealer 101 perfecting concealer duo in yellow light and um, yeah I like this there's people who hate this but I really really appreciate it because it doesn't uh, it's on the drier side and for my old skin it was very very worth it Another one that I really love is Cover Blend. You know, Cover Blend from CBS. You can get it online as well. Um, I have beige and light, and these are very, very useful. You can match a lot of skin tones with this, and it's amazing. I mean, the coverage for the lightweight feeling and the long-lasting, it's amazing. It can tend to be a little bit dry after um, a few hours. But if you don't put a lot of powder, this is great for under my eye. It's so good. I use that before my eye primer and gives you an excellent, excellent grip to your eyeshadow. So, um, on, the, on that, cr that cream kind of thing, I also have Makeup Forever Full Cover. And it also comes in a tube like this, in a squeezy tube. And I have number six yellow base oh, uh, again full cover it's it's good it's it's more expensive this is 15 milliliters 0.5 fluid ounces uh, this is just the same as, as uh, the cover blend this is $16 and this is um, 30 30 bucks at Sephora Makeup Forever, it's very good. I he I've heard that Lollipop 26, she loves this thing for under her eye area, and it really, really helps a lot. Um, and also, we have the foundations that can be used as, as concealers for people who just don't need as much coverage from a concealer uh, or from a yeah from makeup in general. The Panstick is a very good concealer for large areas you know for under your eye if you don't have a lot of dark circles it's a very good choice just set it with powder because it tends to crease a little bit it's oil based and this um, the Cinema Secrets foundations are really con good concealers too really make good concealers and again uh, not on the creasing area because it's kind of creasing and just make sure that you set it very well and they are very good they come in a huge range of colors and these are cheap this is like 20 bucks for this is 20 bucks for all this um, stuff 
They have concealer palettes too. So, uh, Camera Ready Cosmetics is a website that I really like uh, to to check out that check those out. And Color Stay again, yes, I love Color Stay. Um, yes, this can be used as concealer. Um, you know, it's a very full coverage foundation. If you put on a tray or you know your mixing palette or whatever, you put it uh, a few drops of this and you let it air dry for like not dry but you know let it air for a minute or two. It's gonna get thick, and you can take you know your little stippling brush or your natural bristle brush or whatever, and you apply it apply it as a concealer and it goes on beautifully. And you don't have to be like thinking and figuring out your matching unless you have like unless this doesn't neutralize your dark circles or whatever but in the air actually I think the, the instructions I don't remember yeah well when I first bought it I was I've said that I was like 15 or 16 and the bottle said just apply all over your face a thin layer and then reapply on the areas that you need more coverage and that's very true and it really works very well. So I really recommend this as a concealer to match it and you're good to go, you know. You don't need to carry two things, only your foundation and if you have dark, cir dark circles, you know, your concealer with um, your concealer that will neutralize it. The mineral mineral concealers, bare minerals, I don't, well not now, today uh, maybe they do but when I got this, you only got like the synthetic brush and you reapplied it until you got the coverage and that was your concealer. But now, you know, mineral companies are just coming up with <laughs> with stuff like uh, peach, salmon, green, lavender concealers and they're just really good. I always wanted to mention the sticks because they're really popular and they really cover very well and they're very inexpensive and they come in a range of color too. Uh, this is Maybelline cover stick. We grew up with this, and it's really good. I just use it on, on areas that don't crease because it tends to crease and look a little bit dry. But and I melted the green one because with the green one I just need a lot of control, just a tiny bit for red areas, you know, around your nose, under your lips, where you get all the, those broken vessels. But yeah, you can apply concealer with anything <laughs> almost anything check out scandal of beauty um, how to cover flaws and imperfections I think her video and she uses Mac Studio Fix I think with a natural bristle brush with like, she, she uses Billy B brush but Mac 109 or any kind of little small round uh, natural brush will work very nice technique and there's another one like this is like my 217 fake but it's round I love it because it applies a concealer and blends it very beautifully and you can also use your foundation brush you know for larger areas uh, makeup by Tiffany makeup by Tiffany D she uses this as um, concealer under your eye under her eyes and the color stay trick that I just showed you I use it with this, with the sibling brush and the bomb. Um, your regular concealer brush. This is actually sable hair. It's not synthetic, but I use it just as well, you know. And you have more tiny, tiny brushes. You can use for more lo local application, like in tiny spots, especially with that kind of... Uh, colored concealers that are trickier and you don't want to spread all over your face and end up all green. So yeah, that's all I have about concealers. I have, I hope this gave you like a broad view on what concealers are for and the types there are, you know. Just experiment and find whatever suits you best. Don't let everybody tell you, oh no, you cannot use that. If it works for you, if it looks natural, if it looks beautiful if you feel gorgeous go ahead and try it you don't need to oh no that's not to be used with that you had to take this other one you know what I can do whatever to my skin and I 
I'm gonna take a picture if I look good. I'm gonna watch on watch myself on the mirror and stare at myself. And if it works for me, it looks good, you know. If I get compliments, <laughs> then I'm gonna stick to that. Okay. So I think that's it. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you for uh, your comments, your 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 messages, and everything. And I'm sorry if I'm taking a long time to respond, but you know I'm here and I'm doing what I can to be here with you. So I'll see you guys. Thank you. Bye.